You say a prayer for this yes. and we sign out. Okay. Let's all join together in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of everyone here, of the youth especially. We praise you. We thank you, Jesus. And we just ask of the youth specifically today that they may be lifted up in your love, in your care, and in your, in your gentle touch, that they may feel you, that they know that you are there among anything that they are going through. And, know, and that they know that they have a future, a plan with you, Lord, that is so great. Make that plan known to them if they're searching, that they're looking for this plan, that the plan may be known today, in this moment, in this hour, in this second. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all our prayers, all our attentions, our lives, our, our blessings to you. As it all comes from you, Jesus, we give it back to you, our lives. Let's sit in silence. Let's praise the Lord in the silence. Let us conclude our prayer with the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, we thank you all. It has been a moment, a short moment of prayer, but there is no prayer which is, every prayer is big, even if it is two minutes, even if it is one minute. Spend it with God. Pray and ask the Lord. He will change. The more you, you disturb the Lord, the more you disturb God and say, Lord, I want you to do this. Go and disturb him. You, you need to disturb God if you want something uh, positive from, from him. Disturb him. Go there. Eh? Problems will be disturbing us. Issues will be disturbing you. Just run to him. Disturb him whenever you get a chance. Disturb God and God will listen and answer you. But if you stay and sit in your comfortability, you stay in your comfort zone and you wait for the Lord to find you there, please. You know your issues, you know your problems, run to him and tell him, Father, I'm here. Of course, you may say, I am a sinner, I am not worthy. No one is worthy. But the one who knows that he is not worthy is the one who is worthy to receive God's grace. So run to him every time. Call him and ask him, Lord, I'm here, I'm ready to do your will. You remember the prodigal son? When he knew that he needed to go back to the father, he returned and the father welcomed him. Yesterday, Jesus changed water into wine. May Jesus change our water into wine. We have problems, but sometimes we don't know even what to do. But it is like the wedding at Cana. They didn't know what to do. They said the wedding was getting destroyed and the mother said, no, I know my son can do something, can do something great. And really, the son did something great. He changed water into wine. God can change water into wine. God can change your tears into joy. He can change your worries into what? happiness. What? And, you know, you can enjoy. And wherever there is a wine, there is joy. You know, whenever there is wine, there is joy. So we pray for you today uh, that may God listen to you may god change that situation you are going through may god bring happiness may god bring you that happiness this is a year 2023 may you receive something special from the lord you've cried enough is enough go to him you know what to do as i've been always telling you that the only thing you need to do is to learn how to ask and how to pray 
to your God because your tongue can do something. He says, pray, ask, and you will receive. Knock and the door will be open for you. What are you waiting for? Please knock the door and it will be open. Open for you. Bye. We say bye-bye. <laughs>